Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to create highly realistic skin textures for your images when it comes to Photoshop. And in this simple video, you're going to be learning how you can fix and get images to have real skin details after retouching the photo. So sometimes you may tend to lose out on the skin details in some areas in the image or in the whole image. And we want to bring back and create that texture when it comes to Photoshop. You can see this is the case of the, this very image. You can see these areas don't have textures or details, but in this tutorial, you're just going to achieve these details in the skin regarding skin texture. So I'm just going to come and I delete this. So in order to create skin details, we want to create a layer that is going to be containing the skin textures or the skin details. So in order to create this layer, simply come to the new layer icon, click on it to create a new layer. And after creating that layer, you are simply going to go ahead and fill it with a gray color, which is 50%. So just come right here to edit, come to fill, and simply come to contents and make sure you select 50% gray. Make sure the blending is normal or past that 100%. Then also preserve transparency is not checked and click OK. And as soon as you do that, you're going to notice that the overall image is going to be filled with this 50% gray kind of color. Once you have done that, come to this layer and convert it into a smart filter or a smart object. The reason for that is because after applying the textures on the skin, we want to be able to have control and change those later on in case we change our mind and we are not really happy with the results. So just come this layer, right click on it and simply come to convert to smart object. And this layer is going to have this icon once you have converted it into a smart layer or a smart object. After that, we are just going to add noise. The reason for adding noise to this layer is because oftentimes our skin texture resembles grain or noise. So just come to filter and you come to the camera raw filter. So in camera raw, you can notice that we have the effects panel and under effects we have the grain option. So the grain option is basically going to be adding more noise to the image. So ensure that you have clicked on this drop down arrow to see other effects embedded within the grain option. After that, we're just going to come and move the slider to add noise into the image, just like this. So since this is a close up image, the noise level is going to be slightly high and you can play around with the size so you can see how the size of the noise is going to be affecting the image. So you can see the size is going to bring or enhance the noise and make it look somehow bigger. So I'm just going to increase on that. Then you can even come to the roughness. You can either create a more rough image. So for the roughness, I prefer not to go beyond 60. But remember, we converted this layer into a smart object. So in case we are not happy with the results, we can come back later on and we change the results. So I'm just going to come and click OK. So after you have done that, the next step is going to be simply coming to the blend mode option and change it from normal and change it to, I'm just going to change it to vivid light. And this is going to reveal the image. So once the image has been revealed in this case, we are simply going to come and we perfect this noise because you can see this all over the place and it doesn't look natural at all. So we're going to come to the filter option. Once you come to filter, come to stylize and you come to emboss. So the reason for coming to emboss is because we want to choose a direction from which the light was coming from so that the textures can match with the already existing details or the already existing textures on the skin. So you can see when you open up emboss, you can see that we have the angle right here. So in case the light for the image was coming from this top left corner, make sure this pointer is also pointing in the direction 
from which the light was coming. So in case the light was coming from this side, move the pointer to face that direction. So for my case, you can see the light was coming from this top area. You can see this bright area of the model's skin. So you can see I'm just going to move this light to around, I feel like 80, yeah, 88 is okay. Then we also have these options right here. So you can see height, move this to see how it affects the image. Basically, height is going to make the textures more pronounced and more vivid. So just reset. I'm just going to take this back down and play around with the height to see what works best for me. So for the height, usually, I'm just going to take this lower. I prefer to leave the textures very close and not spaced at all. So I'll leave this to around, I feel like three is okay. Then when it comes to amount, you can play with the amount slider. So you can see the more you enhance that, the worse the image is going to be. So for this, I tend not to go past 100%, but you can experiment to see what result works best for you. So I'll simply come and click OK. So right now, we have applied the skin texture and it kind of looks natural and real at this point. But this is not all. It looks a little bit unnatural. So just going to come back to filter and apply some little bit of blurring to the details or the texture that we have just artificially created right in Photoshop. Just come to blur and come to Gaussian blur. So when, come to, when you come to Gaussian blur, you can see that we have the radius slider. So the more you move this higher, the smoother the image is going to be. And you're going to be losing out on the details once again. So make sure you apply a very low radius for the Gaussian blur. So I'm just going to leave this to around 0 0.4. 0 0.4 looks okay. I'll click OK. So right now we have an issue. The textures are appearing all over the image and we only want to limit the textures in particular areas of the image. So what are we going to do? We're just going to simply drag and put our texture effect into a group. And after putting the texture into a group, just hold down the option key on the keyboard in case you're using Mac, then for Windows it is alternate option and click on this layer mask and it is going to hide the textures behind this black mask. Remember in Photoshop, black is going to hide and white is going to reveal. So you are simply going to come to the brushes and get the brush tool and ensure that the hardness is set to 0%. Soft round brush is selected, the mode is set to normal, opacity at 100%, flat 100%. And ensure that you have black and white on these two color swatches. In case you have any color apart from black and white, you can simply press D on the keyboard. Or you can simply click on the tiny swatches to reset these colors to black and white. And after doing that, using a brush, simply paint on the skin. I know sometimes it may look unnatural and unrealistic. But remember, we converted the texture layer into a smart object and we have the flexibility of changing the values after applying them to the model skin. So I'll quickly paint on the skin and you can see the textures we are painting are blending into the skin in this case. So I'll paint on the areas I feel should have this nice and artificial texture that we have just created within Photoshop. So I'm just going to slightly zoom in, reduce on the size, and paint on only those areas I feel should have this texture or skin details. So I'm just going to paint like this. So once I'm done painting on the areas that I feel should have or contain the skin details, it is time to fine tune the texture. So you can see this was the before, after, before, after. Right now, you can just open up the folder or group and you simply click. For example, in case the camera raw <coughs> effect is too much, click on that and now just come and click OK. 
and it's going to take you back to the camera filter for you to change the amount of grain in the image like that and you can even play around with the size and reduce it or you can even reduce on the roughness and click OK. So you can see by just doing this tiny adjustment the skin details or textures are looking natural and realistic. So you can see the before after before after for the skin texture that we have just created. So this is as simple as this. So for whatever effect that you feel like you want to control, once again, click on that and it's going to bring back the initial values that you added onto the image and you can correct those values to your taste or to your liking. So this is how you can simply create skin textures in the image within Photoshop. And if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. If you have been watching and you are not a subscriber to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.